Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Uh, today we're actually going to do a little bit of a different type of a video than I usually do. Uh, we're actually going to go ahead and do a first impression slash type video. Uh, there's a fellow reviewer, uh, Fabio Conde. He has his own channel. He's a Brazilian uh, YouTuber and he also came out with his own fragrance house. Uh, so he sent me a group of his fragrances uh, and I'm going to go ahead and give you guys my first impression on them. Uh, now the reason I'm actually doing this different, normally I would review the fragrances uh, throughout, but with fellow YouTubers, I generally feel uh, that I can't really give it an impartial review only because I genuinely wish the best for them. I mean, I wish the best for anyone that I come across, but uh, with somebody that you know a little bit closer, uh, it's a little bit more difficult to be completely objective. So I, you know, would feel bad about getting on here and saying, I don't like this fragrance and, you know, really causing that person problems uh, or specifically, you know, hurting their business and well being every day. So. That is what it is. I'm just going to give you guys my honest opinion though on my first impressions and kind of what I think about the fragrance. So without any further ado, let's just go ahead and get started. Now Conde Parfums, uh, Parfum, it comes in a box that looks like this. Uh, and I got a three sample of the fragrances that he's got out there. So uh, let's start with the very first fragrance. Now the very first fragrance I'm going to start with is called Tabac d'Or. Uh, or Tabac Or, maybe if the D is silent. Uh, there it is, and I'm going to go ahead and spray it. Let's see how this one turns out. Uh, so I'm assuming it's going to be some tobacco variant on the scent. So uh, we spray it on, and woo, man, that is powerful stuff. And I like it. It's got a, uh, initially when you spray it, you can sense, you can get tobacco and citrus. But now I'm getting a little bit, is it like anise or chocolate. It's like a dark uh, chocolatey type of a scent that is coming out with the scent. You start to get a little bit more of the citrus is kind of coming in, mixing with the chocolatey kind of note. Uh, and the tobacco is kind of hanging around on the scent. Hmm. Overall, very pleasant scent so far. I mean, I'm going to go out ahead and have to wait to see how this develops on my skin, but uh, excellent fragrance overall so far. Um, very good smelling, very good smelling so far. Uh, Tabac d'Or, uh, very good. I definitely have to see how this kind of develops on my skin, uh, but this is very positive so far. Now the next fragrance on the list is uh, Chypre Claire. Chypre Claire. So let's give this one a whirl. This one I'm going to catch here. There we go. These sprayers are excellent by the way. Uh, lots of juice. Oh, yeah, that is a Shipra. And you know what? I am butchering that word. Do not quote me on this because I remember, yeah. Pardon my pronunciation. Let's just leave it at that, okay? Uh, this one, yeah, it's like a grassy, uh, kind of a little bit more uplifting, if you will. Very green. At the same time, very inviting has a sharpness to it. Um, very interesting, very interesting type of smell. I don't think this one is my favorite because it kind of reminds me of insect repellent. Uh, no, 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 it's not insect repellent. It's actually pledge, pledge, there we go. It reminds me of pledge. Uh, it's not a bad smell, it smells nice, uh, but it just reminds me of pledge. Uh, and I'm generally not a fan of the Shipra, <laughs> probably butchering that, but I'm not a fan of that typical genre. So. Uh, yeah, so it doesn't surprise me that I'm not really the biggest fan of this one, but if you're a fan of green fragrances and, you know, green citrusy uh, kind of sharp notes, then this one is going to fit you. And the final fragrance that we're going to go ahead and check out is called Cure Vert. Uh, now this one is, uh, I'm actually very interested to see how this smells just because leather, green leather, oh, leather green. Um, yeah, I'm interested. I love leather and the green notes. I generally, you know, can swing either way, but green and leather put together is, let's see how this goes. All right. Let's waft it out. Let's waft it out a bit. Ooh, man, this is powerful stuff. This is, uh, I've, I'm having to back up my arm just because the closer you are, it's just like, whew, right in your face. Wow, this is, it's true to its name. It is green leather. 
So think of like a leather jacket that you just roll around in some grass. That's what this smells like. Very interesting. I think there's going to be a lot of people who find this one very appealing. It's very unique. It's very, very powerful, very strong. Ooh, man, that is, that is some strong stuff. Um, overall, you know, I'd say definitely worth a smell on this one. Yeah. Ooh, that is some powerful stuff. I gotta say, bravo. Uh, you know, overall, very positive. Again, three lineups of the three. I'm probably going to have to say, let's go ahead and grab these over here. I'm probably going to have to say the first one was probably uh, my favorite, Tabak or uh, this one was easily my favorite. And I'd probably follow it up with uh, Cure Vert uh, and then the Ship Reclair. Um, those three in that order. Uh, and more than likely, based off of at least... Um, that smell, I yeah would definitely uh, pick up the tobacco ore. Uh, the other two, mm, I don't think I would. The Cure Vert is it's very interesting because it's it's really out there. It's a very powerful fragrance. It's it's up there with a lot of the Montal fragrances that you have smelled. Uh, it's that powerful. It's just really out there. Uh, and if this is one that you like, then this is going to be one that really carries you through. So definitely worth checking it out. Overall, I'm going to say positive. Uh, I'd say definitely worth taking a look out, see if you can get some samples and try out this house. Very unique, uh, very well blended, very put together. I have to say very positive. Um, of the fragrances, uh, the one fragrance, like I said, I'd probably look at Tabak Or. Uh, the other two, not too crazy about, not too crazy about Shipras. Uh, and the green leather, while pleasant, it's for me, a little bit too on the strong side. It's a really strong fragrance. Uh, but other than that, very positive. Check out the fragrances, Conde Parfums, and uh, uh, let me know what you guys think about it, all right? Uh, I'm gonna have the link down below to his channel and to where you can get the fragrances, and that's pretty much it, all right? Thank you guys, take care of yourselves, and you guys have a great day.